Hello and welcome everyone. This is Lavender Sky Panther. Today is Monday, July 6th, 2020. And today's topic is called Sky Marvels, Pink Air Elementals and Objects. And it's a collection of images and sky observations happening July 3rd through July 5th, 2020. And before we get going, I'd like to extend warm greetings and say good day, Ocio, how, buongiorno, guten tag, kia ora, jambo, buenos dias, bonjour, ni hao, cien dobre, konnichiwa, dobro honia, anyo aseo, boa tarji, dobri den, aloha winala, galimera, and hudendach. So today's image, instead of starting off with a little food item, homemade, uh, either healthy or comfort food wise, um, I'd like to just keep in the theme of the air elementals and talk about air for a moment. Air is our very life force. It is also source itself and the source of inspiration. Inspire means to breathe in, to inhale, and we typically receive the highest inspiration and creativity when breathing in deeply and fully, in and out, not while shallow breathing, or restricting, restricting the breath in any way. So that is just so key. So please keep that in mind. And however often you can, breathe in deeply, exhale, and just really keep that life force flowing in a nice way. Now, in tandem with the air elemental, I want to talk about fire elemental because they are intertwined as, as far as fire needs or oxygen to burn. Air contains about 21% oxygen. And most fires require uh, about 16% of air to burn. So it's no coincidence that we spring to life, literally come to life and manifestation in 3D on this planet with a divine spark kicking it off and divine breath. So both are fire and air elements. Okay, now to start off, we're just going to look at some odd forms here. And I have a question, clouds and wisps, question mark. Because air elementals um, come by many names, and depending on what culture um, you are in or, or what your ancestry is. Air elementals can be also called just air spirits, um, wisps, uh, sylphs, and, and other things. So you're going to hear me interchange some of the names. I'll call them wisps or air elementals or... Uh, maybe air spirits as we go along. So here I'm not quite sure because the wisps, you know, it's as, as they imply, wispy in nature and light is happening here. This is a little heavier in nature, so I'm not sure if this is a combination what we're looking at. And over to the right is what's happening to these, you know, as the sun is setting off to the right-hand side of the photo. Okay, now again, sky wisp, air spirit, self, uh, air elemental, rising, that's what this looks like. And what I've been noticing um, that is that these air um, elementals have been really showing up in full force, especially in the last two weeks, like all over the sky, which I've never really seen so many. I had hints of them showing up over the past few months. I wasn't really sure what they were. I even referred to them as, um, you know, chemtrails with a question mark that are being blown around in the wind, but I knew they weren't. They, they seemed to be very organic and pure in nature. So that's what we're looking at. Now what I'm noticing, especially in the last two weeks, is that these wisps always seem to accompany a symmetrical or geometrical shape in the sky that does not seem to belong in the sky. So um, in this case, it looks like there's an ellipse. But in other cases, I seem to see like wherever there's either a triangle, look here's one here, something forming in here, or a pentagon or a hexagon, I'm seeing the wisps they seem to highlight whatever object that is. So is the wisp a pure divine natured spirit that's trying to do like a clean up on aisle one and take these geometries that might not have good intentions away? Or are they somehow working, you know, as a balance like and, and doing a um, yin and yang thing together? Yin, yin and yang, I'm not sure. So I'm leaving that as a question as we go forward up to you to kind of decide what you think is happening. Now, here's that same structure, that little wisp with geometries within it, and it's just turning a little peach and orange, and then ultimately red and pink with the sunset. Now here, this little, you know, glowing object down here is the moon waxing gibbous in these photos. Okay, now here's one just called air elemental pair, because here you start to see, you know, triangular um, forms emerging, and then even here, triangles ducking in here. Um, and this is the more wispy-like character. So again, what's going on? There's also like some type of um, geometry happening here. So are these air elementals simply highlighting where these things are otherwise hiding? 
or are they somehow integral? I'm not sure exactly what's happening there, but maybe you might know. And again, take any of these photos on your own and really look, you're gonna see lots of geometry. So here's like a void shape down here in the lower right of another perfect triangle. And here's one up here, another triangle void, you know, created and outlined by other puffs or clouds, you know, whatever's happening in there. So there's a lot in this photo. So have fun trying to find those shapes. And I do talk about how to readily, more readily identify some of these shapes than a previous show if you don't know how to already. Okay, now here's that same um, image from before, just zooming in on these shapes. I put some, uh, zoomed in and put contrast on it, enhanced it just to make them more apparent. And then over here on the right, there's clearly a, a little triangle hiding in here. So these are wisps. And again, is the wisps, um, are the, is it something divine moving in to say, hey guys, humans, you know, here's a shape that doesn't really belong. Look down here again, lower part, the wisp is there highlighting a triangle. Or is it something that they are integral or somehow need each other? I don't know. Um, but again, if anyone has interesting any interesting angles on that perspective, let me know in the comment section below. Okay, now here's just another sequence showing uh, some of these wisps, upper left corner I'm pointing to, some of these wispy activities happening. Again, there's a wisp with some type of void object showing up. There's a void geometry here too, um, just meaning you can see the shape formed by, you know, this quote-unquote solid of the clouds or whatever. Um, and then we have the wisps, so it starts turning a little goldish little peach. Here this is interesting because how do we have, you know, this these cloud forms um, are turning yellow and peach, but this is already going straight to red and pink. That's another phenomenon I talk about on a previous show called red flash and sky shapes. There's a very telling slide in there at, toward the end of the show I encourage you to look at. But look at this. At first, um, upper left, I'm so, you know, set on looking as we're used to looking at shapes, so that looks like a sword or a cross you know, inverted cross or something. But look here in the lower right photo, you know, you see again a triangle. So again, uh, it's no mistake, these wisps are occurring every time and they're either helping uh, camouf try to camouflage maybe <laughs> some of these geometries, but I think it's the opposite. I think they're more like highlighting where they are happening. And again, I don't know if there's any good or bad to this whole play going on uh, between wisp and geometries, uh, but I'll leave that to you to decide. So anyway, the uh, more interesting part of the sunset, we've got both red and peach color, red, pink, and orange, peach colors and gold. And then as that sunset departs, and weekends, uh, we, you know, go back to kind of white and gold. All right, here's just another example of some interesting air elementals going on. And the more closely you look, you're going to see some symmetrical geometry uh, shapes in the sky, I guarantee it. So already here's a triangle hiding here. And on the right, uh, oh, sorry, down here, there's some type of uh, a form or, or symmetrical shape. And then the more you look in here, I know you're going to find stuff, but I'll leave that to you as a little fun exercise uh, to take more of a look at either now or, or on your own. Okay, now this was very interesting. We had kind of a sylph-like form in a crescent and it seemed to be hugging an object. So you can almost see like these are arms and so, like the, if the little sylph were an actual person, these would be legs and it's kind of like on its back swimming almost uh, with like a head and grabbing onto this thing. Now, I don't know what that object is. It's not exactly symmetrical. This is more organic in form, seemingly. Anyway, I don't know what's going on behind the other haze, or if this object is really, you know, a bigger form, like a ice cream cone or whatnot. But at the upper right, I changed, I zoomed in and changed um, some things just to, you know, make it more grayscale, black and white, just to see if anything else of interest popped out. But again, you can just see the stark contrast of the sylph-like activity and some type of more structured form. Okay, now this one's just called Various Phenomena. I'm gonna leave this to you to look on your own. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna say about this one though, I mean, there's a ton of things happening in here. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to hit the highlights on it. Is one, it's just odd that this is picking up, you know, the sun is happening to the lower right in the photo. Why is only this picking up the glow? And what is this object behind it? You see this big shadowy form. And it seems to have wisp characteristics where normally it's geometry that I've been seeing that happen with. So uh, that one's a real uh, puzzler for me. Upper right hand corner, I enhanced it, I zoomed in, trying to pull more things out of what is going on. But I don't have any clear answers, just more questions for you on this. Also, behind this kind of ball of a form, I also see a triangle. Here's the point, and then it kind of comes down this way. So see what you see.
come up with your own conclusions. There's just a lot of different types of cloud activity, even also happening with this within this scene. So again, look for geometries and, and have fun. And again, if you have any good ideas or even just any ideas, creative ones, about what could be happening in this uh, slide, let me know in the comment section below. Okay, now this one is just called Odd Cloud Forms, Wisps, and Objects. So again, my theory that these wisps are accompanying geometries, here we go. Here's a triangular shape, another one down here. Um, I zoomed in here because it looked like interesting disturbance, and usually that means something's trying to cloak or something's arriving. And I zoomed in there. I couldn't really pick much out. Maybe you can. I just left that down there in case that helps any of you. And again, I think I see a triangular shape up here. Uh, so have fun looking at this one more on your own as well. Okay, and this one is sky wisps and triangular shapes. So the right-hand photo, again, we have a clear triangle here. And this has got symmetry to it. Now, I don't know if this extends this way or moves even further on. I'm not sure. But either way, it's more geometrical. And look at this. Again, very clear wisps, you know, seem to be hugging these things or right near them. And, I'm, and I adjusted the contrast and brightness and color on the left-hand photo. Again, just to see if anything, you know, is more apparent. Maybe some of you see stuff that I'm not seeing, and we can uh, compare notes. Oh, and look, I'm just seeing it now. Again, the more you look at these photos, the more you find. The upper right-hand corner, that's a very clear either upside-down or sideways triangle, like in the void formed by the cloud. Okay, this one again. We have this void form where it's all blue and clearly defined as like a lemon-shaped or American football-shaped thing. <laughs> I'll just say, I don't know if it's an object or just something interdimensional. Um, and then look at this. We have these streaks as if this air elemental is just flying down again, either to, I don't know, hold this thing and usher it away, or it's cooperating with this form behind to help camouflage. I don't know what's going on with this story. But anyway, just see, anytime you see like these ribs and chaotic kind of disturbance, it all spells out it's trying to camouflage something going on in the sky. Um, then here too, look on the lower right-hand corner. Again, we've got this weird disturbance happening around this object. And it kind of goes on and on and on the more you look in the photo. But go ahead and see what you can see. And again, come up with your own conclusions on what the heck is going on here. Oh, also in the upper left, um, I put the high contrast on it in case you can find things a little bit easier that way. Okay, now this gets really interesting. We're going to jump into sunrises now. I have a question. Is it a sunrise with a second and a third sun? Is it a sunrise with some type of artificial solar device and something else going on from the cosmos beyond it? These are, you know, a lot of questions happening in one photo. So here we go. Same photo, just adjusted um, enhanced contrast and a little bit of the color and hues to really pull out that we've got three light sources. I think that's undeniable. Northeast is here, east is here. So I am asking the questions. Is this the original sun? That would seem to be right. It's more dead on with east and it's peach and warm color like we know the sun to be, at least in decades past on this planet. Question here, over here to the left, is this an artificial sun? This was becoming a white, solid white glaring ball. Then above it, this also is its own light source. It's not light happening from this thing down below. So what do we have going on here? Is it an original sun, lower right, artificial sun toward the middle, and a second sun up to the top? Could be, but then I have another slide that may also change the way we perceive this. All right, let's look at this. Zooming in on that white ball I was talking about, that would have been the middle photo uh, on the previous slide. Well, look at it. One, it's looking very oblong, and like there's maybe even another ball happening behind it. When I zoomed in upper left, you see that this looks to be even like an ellipse or a ball above this ball below. And you can see the red signature happening around anything that is glowing, um, you know, or bright in the sky. So here we have this outcropping that does not look like it's a part of this. And then, oh yes, look at these, sm these sharp edges and a point down here. Looks like an upside down triangle happening beyond. And oh yeah, if that weren't enough, down here we have these weird cam um, kind of camouflage clouds springing up and there's a very dark object happening behind and we'll take a look at that in another slide. Anyway, lower left corner, this is another analysis. Okay, we know we've got this dark object below. 
But looking up, we got the main ball in orange. We got maybe another ball of sun or its own light source in the pink ring. And then above, the black ellipse is representing yet another sun or light source. And then the white is representing what I see as the triangle below. Now, if anybody can explain to me what's going on there, I would appreciate it. But wow, what is happening? <laughs> there is uh, there's so many directions we could go with the theories of what is going on. Now, if you look up at some of the solar telescopes and other um, instrumentation that takes different signatures and uh, almost like sonar up above in space, you will see, and on previous shows I've documented this, that there is a sun and that there is another sphere off uh, orbiting around it, and yet maybe another sphere beyond that. So that's all the proof I need to know, that something is going on. Plus, with my own observations, you know, I see it here. There, there's a lot of questions that we should all already know the answers for. Nothing should be hidden on this. All right, but let's jump ahead. So now, below that object, this is a zoom in from the previous slide. You know, look at that. So this has been enhanced a little bit just to really pull out that object. So I'm calling it longboat and drum. It does look like a boat or like a dugout canoe and some kind of drum. I mean, undeniably, look at that. So the lower right-hand corner, here we've got the drum and the boat. And again, the sun doing its thing, if that's artificial or what. I, I, I can't believe that that's the true sun. Or if it is, it's, it's behind all of whatever's masking in front of it. And that this is another light source happening off to the left. Okay, now this is called Dancing Sky Couple. I think it's obvious why, but I'll, uh, I put the contrast in the upper left-hand corner if you need to see it a little bit better. But here in the main photo, it just looks to me like a woman with her elbow up, her arm up, her, her dress kind of cascading along, and a man, you know, with his arms like this, bent, and his leg back dancing. So I was looking at it just because they were interesting cloud forms. But then look below. There seems to be a dark shape, a lip, a lip, um, sorry, ellipsoidal in nature, but more of a pointed ellipse, and like an almond shape. And then look at this. I think to me this is telltale signs of artificial camouflage over an object. And if you look up in the upper left-hand corner, you see it very clearly, a little more clearly, the object. Now, that dancing couple is important because on another photo a little later on, I thought, oh, look, we're losing our couple. They're kind of disintegrating. But look at that. Uh, that pointed ellipse is still prominent there in shadow with backlighting, uh, which is very helpful. Then I looked in closer, and I'm like, what is that? I know that's not a bird. It's not a speck on my camera. So I zoomed in, and look what we have here. We definitely have an object with structure that is not a drone, that is not anything typical uh, that we would know of. Not a plane, obviously, not a helicopter. So see what you think that is, or if you've seen it somewhere before, let me know. Then down here, I'm like, why is this pure white? You know, this is white up here, so what's happening here? So I zoomed in, and look what we have, a triangle. So what is this whole dance, if you will, <laughs> going on? We have uh, this structure, we had that long boat and drum going on, we have a triangle, and we have this little thing. I am not sure, I would love to know what's going on with this story. If any of, but, if, but anybody has some ideas, let me know in the comment section, or if you can think of a good story, <laughs> write it down below as well, I'm open to that. Okay, now this is just an odd cloud cluster, it speaks for itself, kind of was a standalone grouping, Nothing else was around. It seemed very odd. So I put the contrast up on it. In the upper right-hand photo, you can see a clear triangle happening here. There's also one in here. There's also a void triangle here. So I don't know what was going on. There's probably one right here as well, if you follow my cursor. So um, have a look at this on your own. See what you think is going on. I just know it's just something odd <laughs> about this cluster. All right, and speaking of odd clusters, here's the uh, swirl cloud forms. Now, these are all fuzzed out. That's another phenomenon that's been happening around the world lately when you look at other Earth and sky watching channels, which I hope you are doing, seeing photos that are submitted from out around the world. They're very telling that, that things are definitely changing in our atmosphere and different things are showing up. Some we can explain and many we cannot. So this was just intriguing, obviously, because it's curved here and curved here. And it also just seems to be a lot of void here for whatever's going on. This may be like the corner of a triangle or something. Um, but anyway, I wanted to share this with you. thought it was odd. Maybe you can find some things in there and see things I'm not seeing. Just very interesting, to be sure. All right, now if you've uh, seen any of my shows before, you know I love to close on a note of nature and kind of when I can ground us back down to earth. So after talking about the sky so much, um, 
And if you're new, again, welcome, and here we go. So this is a rainbow eucalyptus tree. Scientific name is Eucalyptus diglupta. It is the only eucalyptus tree indigenous to northern hemisphere and grows up to about 250 feet tall and can apparently grow up quickly about three feet to maybe five feet per year. Has a, it has a lot of medicinal properties and there's a really good or, or article, a uh, little blog spot, I put the link below for that. And I'll let you go ahead and read what the properties are, uh, you know, right now on the left-hand side. So on the right-hand side is the photo of um, the tree that crossed my path, or actually I crossed its path. And it's this, this tree over here. So the, the lower right and left trees are, are different tree species. Now the trunk looks like this when the bark flakes away. It really looks like a painting and it's gorgeous. If you've never seen one, I highly, rec highly recommend that you do find one and have a look. They're truly magnificent trees. Okay, well thank you for heading over this way for a while and spending some time here on, on this show with me. I really appreciate it. It is Monday, uh, at least where I'm at. So have a beautiful start to your week and I wish you just tremendous happiness, health, love, hugs, fun, whatever you need, prosperity. Uh, may it find you right now. And in the meantime, I wish you all tremendous peace. Take care. Lavender Sky Panther. Bye.